What's up, my beloveds? You guys, today I am going to show you how I cook my seafood boils. Yes, my seafood boil. Anyways, <laughs> what's up, y'all? I'm, I'm trying to, today I'm going to make a seafood boil. And y'all may see lights everywhere. How do you do it without showing the umbrella lights? Huh? Keep the fact, keep the charging. Anyways, y'all, today I am going to do a seafood boil. Show y'all how I do our seafood boil. And this one right here, he's going to get his hair cut. Why you got a sour look on your face? Because I smell seafood. So what? So y'all, here's my seafood right here. What I'm going to do right now is, y'all move out the way. Crazy look. Anyways, right here is my seafood um, legs. And what I'm going to do first, y'all, I am going to wipe these, wash these bad boys off. Because sometimes they have residue on them. Yeah. Come on. So, y'all, this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to wipe these off. You want to, like, give your crab legs a bath. Because sometimes, I don't know if it's the, uh... If they have um, sand on them or what, but I like to um, break them down because they be have some gritty stuff on them to me. And don't mind the other seafood, bo see, see how that white stuff is? Like, you see this, y'all? If y'all can see the close up of that, you want all that to be all. You see that's on my hand? I don't want that. See, I don't want that. And y'all don't want that either. So you try to do it as much as you can with the wipe off. Now, if y'all have a little tool brush or something, because they do have a little brushes that you can use. Make sure you want to do this and uh, make, make sure you want to do this in cool water because crab legs are already cooked. A lot of y'all didn't know that, but crab legs are already cooked because you don't want to make it overdone. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to rub this boy down. So y'all get the drift, right? Y'all rub it down in some cool water cool water we're not gonna use no cold water because like i said the crab legs are already done but i explain that more you don't, as the uh, you, video goes <sighs> anyways y'all oh as you got me so close y'all want to show y'all the residue all that stuff that came off of those uh crab legs this is why it's so important to clean your crab legs with cool water because all of the residue and stuff like that can come out and then you know you get all the ooky ooky stuff off the uh crab legs so now that i bathe those what i'm going to do is i show you my my water you want me to show them more water? So this is my water right here. And what y'all I'm going to do is, y'all see, I'm going to add some um, chicken cubes, bouillon cubes, some zatarins, which is the crab ball. And this is optional. This is for my sauce, y'all. Anyway, that's optional. And then I'm going to add some lemons, onions, and that's it so lemons and onions and those uh cubes you can use chicken broth last time i used chicken broth but i was using a lot 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 of chicken broth i just figured that if i used the cubes i would say more um i think about see that's a lot of water y'all so i'm thinking about using like six cubes and so it can be able to flavor the water if you don't want to use chicken broth or cubes or something to flavor your water you can use regular seasonings like onion powder pot powder garlic powder seasoning salt whatever you want to use you can use so we are going to uh what i'm gonna do is cut up the onions and the lemons and i'm gonna add it and then i'm gonna come back so y'all here we go this is what's going on now i have the onion i have the lemon and so what i'm gonna do is just chop up this Lemon. I like to chop my lemons up kind of fine because you get more juice. You can either squeeze some juice, lemon juice, or you can just cut up some lemons very fine so it can saturate the water. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyways, like I was telling y'all, a lot of people ask me, uh, crab legs are already cooked. So basically what are you doing right now is basically boiling the water. You, got, you want to get the water really, really hot. I'm talking about y'all want to see that boil, boil. You know what I'm saying? I personally usually don't use salt in my water. I don't put the salt in, but um, some people do put, add salt. There's nothing wrong with adding salt. Sometimes it, it can the salt can get into the crab legs, and I don't want that salty, salty flavor. But I would rather have the... Um, I would rather have the seasonable, you know, have it flavorful. Now, I cut it, my lemons, y'all see how thin I cut them? I mean, so I got them in like lemon wedges. So lemon wedges, y'all, lemon wedges. Am I too far back? I know, I just gotta be up close and personable with y'all because that's, 
that's how I feel I should be, y'all. That's just how I feel I should be. So I'm just gonna cut this uh, onion like this so it could be all throughout that um, uh, water. And then I'm gonna add some um, garlic as well. You don't have to cut it all fancy, all pretty or nothing. We just gonna slice this bad boy just like that. I'm gonna try to keep this, I always say, I ain't gonna even say that. I was about to say, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet, but no, I'm not gonna say that. Okay, so that's that. This is my Zatarin packet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all everything that we gonna put in. I'm gonna show y'all what's gonna be put in there. That's my Zatarin. It's called Zatarin's. This is what it is, y'all. This is what it is, okay? So we got that. I'm gonna use like six cubes of this. Now, like I said, you guys, you can use the chicken broth. Do I have chicken broth down here? You can use the chicken broth. And I'm gonna sh show you the chicken broth I use. Now these are cubes. I'm not sure how much water. It should tell you. One cube is one tablespoon. One teaspoon, wow. So I want that stuff to be all throughout that boil, that flavor flay. Get on that flavor tray, y'all. Lady T. This right here is what I'm talking about. If y'all wanna use the liquid, you can. So that's just the option. So let me go over here. Anyway, so I'm gonna put those things in there and then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna bring everything to a boil. It's already at a boil right now. But right now, I just want everything to be able to marinate together. Also, y'all, wait a minute, that's not it. I wanna add some garlic. So I'm gonna show y'all when I add some gar garlic to it. Okay, y'all, I forgot I wanted to add some um, garlic. So what I did is add garlic cloves. And the only reason why I add the garlic cloves is because I want to cut the garlic cloves in half and they're more potent in the water than um, minced garlic. So if you want that flavor flavor, you cut them in half, just don't put them in whole and you can just, uh, so it can um, saturate that water with flavor. And it's much, much better in taste. Um, let me see, I'm trying to cut them. Yeah, y'all, y'all like, don't cut your hand. Don't cut your hand. Okay, y'all. So after you didn't get them cut all in half, we finna add this to that boiling water. Y'all see how it looks? So that's my... And some of y'all may want to mince y'all's even finer, but right there, that's good enough for me because I know that all that water and everything is going to... It's gonna make that water get very well seasoned. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, y'all, let me put y'all in the water. Let me put this in the water. Okay, y'all, I added, so I added five of these. I said I was going to add more, but I added five. Only five, y'all, because I see that it was all, it was one thing of powder. So I'm adding that to my boil. I'm going to add the onion. That's all I'm going to add. So, what I'm going to do is start cooking my shrimp and my uh, scallops. So, now that y'all see that's in there, I'm going to bring that to a boil. It's already to a boil. What I'm going to do, is too, is get a... Actually, you know what, y'all? I know I'm all over the place with this video. But, I know what I'm looking for. I want to add a little bit of... Uh, this is optional. You guys do not have to do this. I don't know, people probably say something about it, but it's okay, because I'm going to do what I want to do. Anyways, I'm going to add a little bit of accent seasoning to this water. I only have a little bit in here, so I add literally a, less than a, a tablespoon, so. That just make the water more flavor. It enhances the flavor. So, y'all see that. One nothing left hardly in there, so I just used the rest of that. And so, I am going to take a spoon... And our a spatula, and I am going to stir that water up. Sorry if y'all see my lights. That's in my power light. I'm gonna do something about that. I'm gonna make it look really bit much better. So I got a spoon, and so what I'm gonna do is stir this water. You want to stir your water, y'all, so it can get that flavor throughout. And we're gonna boil and boil and boil and boil. Okay. Smells good. Smells good. 
So I'm going to get all the stuff that we needed. We go, I'm going to wash off all of these scallops and the lobster tails, scallop lobster tails. What else I have? And shrimp. I got the jumbo shrimp, and I'm going to cook those separately. Except the lobster tails are going to go in the um, the crab water because I'd be so close. The lobster tails is going to go in the crab water because I don't want, I'm not going to use it because it's flavor, flavorful already. And I'm going to use the same water. I am going to add the corn and the potatoes first. And then I'm going to add the crab legs. Then I'm going to take the crab legs and potatoes out. And then I'm going to add the lobster tails by themselves. Now, the size of lobster tails that I have, you only can, you only should cook them eight. They're, they're 8 to 10 ounces, so you should cook them 8 to 10 minutes. So one minute per ounce. You get that? One minute per ounce. And when I tell y'all, don't leave your stove, please don't. It's almost like you have to have a timer. Because if you do not have a timer with these lobster tails or with the shrimp and the scallops, your stuff is going to be rubbery and you're not going to have a good experience. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Um... And I think it's different when you want to bake them. I think when you're baking them, you add a little bit longer of a half of a half of a set of half of a minute for, per each uh, minute, you know, per each ounce. I'm sorry. So it'll be a minute and a half her you know something like that when it's when you're trying to put it in the when you're trying to bake it so it's different rules to everything but what i'm saying y'all y'all know y'all don't want you can mess up some lobster tails i have done it can write a book about it and you don't want to do that so i'm trying to say that for y'all i'm gonna just show y'all how to do it where it can be still be uh tender uh actually i like it i don't know if y'all know four ounces it's more easier to cook and it's more you get more better results quicker you know what i'm saying but with the eight and ten ounces they sometimes can be tricky so that's why you have to really sit in over the over the stove and babysit it so i will be back y'all i'm gonna wash these things i'll actually i'll show y'all how i wash them because some of y'all be really want to know the whole process i'm just my own camera woman as y'all can see i'm my own camera woman and I'm trying to make it do what it do. Do what it do tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what it do tonight. So, y'all, I hope y'all can see me. Anyways, I'm about to rinse off of these big tiger. Tiger shrimp. Rinse them off. Make sure they smell fresh. They smell fresh, y'all. See, big tiger shrimp. And sometimes you want to check. Now, when I buy these, I always check the really big, the edges right here. Because sometimes they be having, um, still have some stuff in it. You know, substance, that brown stuff in it. And I want to make sure I get that. So, you want to wash off the shell. Because me, I suck my shell. So, you want to make sure you clean them the right way. Just because they come de shell de veined and all that don't mean they have the proper cleaning. So you want to make sure you just get that in and do all that cleaning. And make sure it's good. Now, like I said, sometimes y'all, I can get some, some seashells, some um these uh things right here or any type of seafood and sometimes they don't it don't be good just because you get a, a ones in a bag and you have one that's good don't mean all of them good sometimes it's mushy because it literally has it, it got rancid you know what i'm saying it died and it is just not no good i don't know why but it be tasting not gross it has happened to me y'all it has happened to me that's the truth so there go my big shrimp. I only got five of them here. So then you want to clean your lobster tail. Now I'm not going to split this lobster tail open. You want to just um, clean it all under the tail, the, uh, the legs and stuff and around here. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to butterfly it. And then, y'all, let me just tell y'all what I got. When I finish doing my lobster tails, I will be putting them in this ice. You see this ice? A cold bath of ice. Let me tell you why. Because when you're done with do, uh, finish doing lobster tails, 
and uh, boiling it, it's still, it is still cooking when you take it out that hot boiling water. It is still cooking itself. So in order for you to get that uh, taste, that uh, tender taste, you want to be able to stop the cooking process after eight to 10 minutes, stop it, and then put it in this cold, ice cold water. Trust me, so you can stop the cooking. You understand? Hope y'all understand that. I know y'all understand me. Gotta wash that. Gotta wash that. All this meat. All this meat. All this, all this, all this meat. So, and then here you go with the scallops. With the scallops, y'all, I don't really care. Because scallops take anywhere between, uh, man, three to five minutes to cook. When I tell y'all, literally cook, it takes three to five minutes. I'm not even joking, y'all. I'm not joking at all. So, what I do is take it and I rinse off every scallop. Every scallop, every scallop. I put it on its own plate right here. Yeah, y'all, I'm using plastic plates. Plastic, plastic plates is the way to go. Don't be sleep on that. I'm using my scallops that um, Kathy gave me. Shout out to Kathy. And I'm using the, ooh, what is this? I've never seen nothing black off the scallop before. Tear that part right on off because I ain't can't do nothing black, brown, or whatever that can be. So she gave me the scallop. Shout out to Kathy. And she uh purchased me some uh purchased me some um tiger shrimp. Oh y'all, yeah, what it do? She was so sweet. I appreciate that. Y'all, I'm so mad at myself because I got so now I have all of the stuff from the uh, from the post office. But two of my slips went back and I'm just so upset about that. So I'm going to have to contact those people that sent me this. And I'm going to have to say their names over and over again on the camera. Probably shouting them out to be able to email me. So that I can refund them back their um, money for the packages. Because I know they spent that money and I'm not trying to get how that money go to waste. So I'm not like that. I really do appreciate everything you guys do for me and I don't take it for granted. So therefore I'm going to contact these two people that's on a slip, this slip. And I hope this one's got the name too. I'm gonna have to have them reach out to me so I can be able to reimburse them because I can't do it. I just don't want to be that type of person to do that. So I'm gonna take care of that ASAP. Okay. So, let's check on that water, y'all. Let's check on that water. Let that water doing. That water boiling, boo-boo. Ooh. It's boiling. It's boiling. It's boiling. And it's boiling. And that's what you want. That's what you want. That's what you get. That's what you want. Hey. It's boiling. It's boiling. Saturating and boiling. So what y'all know what I'm gonna do? Y'all know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get this. Yeah, y'all. I got a mess over here. I got a mess going on, but it's okay. Oops, y'all. I know y'all hear that. I got a mess going on, but it's okay. Hey, hey. Y'all heard that before? Hey, y'all heard that before? I know y'all haven't because I, I just made that up. I just made it up. Okay, so here's the Red potatoes. Dalvin got these red potatoes. And I told him to get uh the bigger potatoes, but y'all know how that is. Yeah, kids don't listen. And he and then by then he a man too. So sometimes he don't you know that ain't gonna listen. No offense to the men, but sometimes y'all don't listen. Y'all say stuff about us to us women as well. So I'm gonna take some of these potatoes. Y'all potatoes. I am going to wash these potatoes off. I don't even know why I didn't put y'all over here. This is this is what it is when you're your own camera woman. When you're your own camera woman, y'all, I'm constantly kind of constantly gotta adjust some things. Constantly, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to show y'all. I'm trying to put this in a little. Oh, do I have a bowl? 
I get a little bowl. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, y'all know what? At the last minute, y'all, look, I forgot. I gotta add me some uh, Old Bay to this. You wanna what add probably one tablespoon of obey to your stuff. I'm so sorry, y'all. I don't know how I forgot that. But at least I remembered. Okay. So you wanna put your potatoes in a bowl. We're gonna cook all those potatoes. Put your potatoes in a bowl and you wanna wash these off as well. So I don't know how some people wash theirs off, but I just take water and I just you know, saturate them with water. You can do what, I know some people that will take dishwashing liquid and it will scrub that potato like they give it a bath. So it's to each his own what you wanna do. I just take every individual and I wash it down with the water and scrub it. That's good enough for me. But if you wanna do it with some, um, some um, dish detergent, go right ahead and give them babies a bath. I don't care. To each his own, y'all. To each his own. So then, so I'm gonna add these potatoes to that water. So, cause you know it takes potatoes longer to cook. Um, these probably not so much. When you buy the smaller potatoes, you reduce your uh, cooking time in half. For these potatoes, I would say you cook them for like. Uh, they only need like 10, 15 minutes. The normal potatoes, when they like kind of um, the size, the size of your fist, or a little smaller, it would take probably around 20, 25 minutes to cook. If you want to get that good, you know, consistency of that potato. Because I'm telling you, you can overcook potatoes too. Trust and believe, you can overcook potatoes. I think that sometimes you probably need to go. Um, you can Google it online to see what. <coughs> time frame you should cook your potatoes because every potato is different because of the size so like i said these potatoes give it give it about uh i say 12 to 15 minutes to cook a uh, good and then what you can do how you can test it out is just put you know a toothpick through it maybe something sharp we can go through right away the consistency of it where you will know it's done y'all know what i'm saying so right now too these corns are going, no, I'm gonna put the potatoes in first and then we're gonna add the corn. So, can y'all see me go over there and add this to this? Yes, you can. Anyways, I'm gonna just drop this in here. It's 228 right now, y'all. So I'm gonna check this out at, at um, 245, something around that, 244, 243, something like that. To somewhere around there and then actually I'm gonna add my corn because since those are little potatoes I usually don't add the corn to like five minutes after I didn't add the five or eight minutes after I added the uh the potatoes because they be so big and it don't take corn that long to get get done you can't go wrong but with this corn since the potatoes are so small I usually you buy the bigger potatoes and these are frozen too frozen solid so you can do the same process, uh, wash them off. If you like, I wouldn't suggest uh, washing, these, washing these off with some uh, dishwashing liquid. I would not tell you to do that. So. Dominic went to go get his haircut. And my whole family, they gone to go get their haircut. So I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do do eight. Corn be good, y'all. Y'all know I love my corn. Corn is the good. That's that good, good in the neighborhood. So I'm gonna drop that in there right there. Just like that there. That water stopped boiling right away. That's what happened. So I'm gonna keep this boiling. And then I'm gonna set y'all up for me to, actually, I didn't even give y'all the outfit the other day. 
So y'all, I'm gonna try my best to show y'all my outfit of the day. Now, let me just say, this is a disclaimer. I just wear jerseys based on colors. I am not a football fan. I don't know anything about teams. All I know is if I see a cute jersey, maybe cute colors or what have you, that's what I wear. A lot of y'all don't know, I am a tomboy at heart, somewhat tomboy slash uh, cute girl, diva, or whatever you wanna call it, I'm both. I don't care, I wear whatever, I wear boys clothes, I wear girl clothes or whatever the case may be, and I'm comfortable with it. I'm more comfortable in you know, my tomboy clothes that I am in, you know, with jeans or maybe sweats or and high tops and gym shoes, Jordans. That's what I do. And it, I mean, it, it is what it is. So, can y'all see? Oh, that's too far. I don't know. If y'all gonna be able to see me, let me see. Let me put that down some. This is what happens when you're your own, the boss, your own. Let me get that. This is Dalvin stuff, y'all because now y'all can see a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But anyways, I have on this, I mean, this is a bangle, bangle jersey. Um, I don't know, number 18. I'm sure y'all know what this is. And I got on some um, orange and white Air Force Ones with some black comfortable canvas. And this is not like more of a, uh, these are kind of baggy pants, but they're very, very comfortable. Um, and they have little zippers on the side, little gold zippers and buttons. I don't know exactly. I think I got this. You know what? I actually got this from a resale shop <laughs> in April, I think. So I go every April. Every April, I go to a resale shop with my mom, my godmother. And I'm telling y'all, don't be sleeping on them. They be having some nice stuff. Some of they, a lot of their stuff be new. So I got these with the gold buttons and they're very, very comfortable. I think, what they call it? Cargo pants? I don't know. But they, anyway, they very, very comfortable. Um, like I said, I got this jersey from um, Champs. I think I was Champs. Yeah, I did. I got it from Champs. I got it from Champs. So there you have it, y'all. You know what I, my favorite thing is? I love these, uh, these shoes. I can show y'all close up. Let me show y'all closest. I love these shoes because I like that orange, the orange look, and that's just it fit up right up my alley with the uh, tag hanging from the um, orange. But I love it. Don't y'all love these shoes? They are my one of my favorite pairs of shoes. My husband brought these shoes for me for um, Sweetie's Day, so this is my Sweetie's Day gift. So I appreciate that so, so much. But yeah, they the Air Force Ones. Very cute, very cute, and very comfortable. I I love, let me just say something. I love me, I know this is a cooking show, but y'all know how I talk. Anyways, I love Air Force Ones. They fit very comfortable on my feet. I never have a problem with that. I love the white, all white ones. You gotta get some all white Air Force, or Air Force Ones. I get those every year. And then I get me a nice uh, some Jordans. They just fit good on my feet and they really, really are comfortable. You know, they fit, I don't know. You know how some people have different styles of feet? You got people that's flat footed. You got people that get more of a curvy arch. And then you got some people that have a wide foot, narrow foot, all that type of stuff. My feet is, you know, I have very small feet, but they kind of, uh, they're not too wide. They're in between. You know what I'm saying? In between give or take so it is what it is but yeah that was my outfit of the day y'all what i showed y'all i know i said i'm gonna get back to that sometimes i'm not i'm gonna be looking a whole hot mess because i'm just turning the camera on so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set us up so we can start the um the lost not the lost sales but actually the shrimp and the scallops so i'll be right back Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna go check on this. I have a little scooper here, and you guys can scoop your potatoes out the way you want to come up, um, scoop them out. But I usually don't like my potatoes to keep cooking and cooking because I don't want them mushy. I like that more of a firm type of potato we taste, not mushy taste. So um, it's up to you if you want to keep it in there because everybody likes their stuff different. So what I do usually do is I take it this 
pouch right here and I take a stick like this a little toothpick thing looking like this and I will put it through the potato now see this one it's letting me know it's not done to where I want it and you let me tell you why even though I could push it in there it didn't go in there like it took kind of look it was a little forceful you know what I'm saying and I think I'm gonna give this I probably like uh five more minutes five more minutes and then I'm gonna take them out See, I'm going to take them out then. And then we're going to add the crab uh, legs to this. Okay, y'all. I took the potatoes out. And here they go right here. They're cooked good enough. But I took the potatoes out with all the other stuff that was in it. Took the potatoes out. They're hot. They're nice and warm. I kept the corn in. And so now I'm going to add the, um, the crab legs for 15 minutes, y'all. This is the crab legs. So, I'm going to just get them to stuff them in. Stuff them in as much as you can. Because, you know, it ain't going to take long. Because these are unthawed. Actually, I'm going to keep this. Let me say not 15 minutes. Because these are actually, uh, I would say 15 minutes for those that are, you know, still frozen somewhat. But since these are thawed and they've been sitting out for a while, I will keep these in for like a good 10 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes y'all 10 to 12 minutes i always got a, a two you know a, you always have to put a, a range only because everybody's you know stove right stove is different and you never know uh if it, this is on actually this is on medium high heat right now medium high heat and what i'm gonna do is try to put a top over if you put a top over it just get It'll get more um, done a little bit faster because it's almost like it's steaming them. So, where my top at? Oh, here on my top. So, I'm going to put my top over that. You would, This right here, this quart is a 20, a 20 quart pot. So, in case you guys want to know, this is a 20 quart pot and it is big enough to put a big huge seafood bowl for... Um, your family, your loved ones, or whatever. So right here now, y'all, I got the garlic butter in. Because I'm finna saute. I don't even know why my light doesn't work over my stove. I hope y'all can see. I'm sure y'all can see. But this is garlic butter. Um, you guys can add seasonings to this if you want. I usually don't add um, any more seasonings to mine. But it's optional for you because I have the um, sauce. The Be Love sauce that I dip everything in. And plus, a lot of this is going to have flavor. With the shrimp and the scallops, I'm not too worried about this butter. The garlic butter is good enough for me. Um, but you can always add what you want to add. Okay? Okay. Okay. Like I said, y'all, with this... You actually need to stand over the stove. Do not blink. Because this is this is the thing. This right here, these shrimps, they get done. When you see the shell turn pink and you see this, because this is going to shrivel up. And you're going to start to see it get, you know how it looks when um, uh, shrimp, shrimps are done. Dang, what's this? Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Yeah, I got a little uh, black spot right there. And I am not like, oh, that ain't the black spot. That's like the, <laughs> my bad. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Anyways, so I'm getting this. See this, uh, my butter is getting hot. I hope y'all can see that. It's getting hot. I'm going to need something else. It's like that. When you're, when you're doing recordings, I'm going to just tell y'all the truth. You have to find a certain angle, number one. The lighting has to be good. That's number two. And then you want to be able to show, you know, especially when you're doing cooking videos or how-tos or DIYs. You want to be able to get good close-up shots. And right now, I don't know if I'm happy. I'm going to have to show my husband because we're working on some things, y'all. Changing some things. And even though in my, even in my studio, I'm going to give you guys a tour of my studio. Because it's like, I changed, we changed cameras and we upgraded uh, to 4K. I think that's what it is. 4K. Yeah, I think it's 4K. 4K. And it is a very good quality of a camera. A very good pick. 
but my sound is not the same and so now we've been changing the sound trying to testing i'm literally y'all we've been testing this thing testing one two trying to get uh we brought another mic and so we are just going to test this out i'm sure you guys are going to tell us if the quality is back the same or do we need to uh, uh readjust or whatever but we are going to get it right y'all we're going to get it right we're going to get it perfect it's just that when you changing cameras or anything and i want anyone to that is going to do youtube please remember that when you're changing the quality of your camera or, or camera the quality of your mic may change as well so you have to do a lot of testings before i will suggest you do um testings before you put out your first video by me doing everyday videos it's kind of harder for us to find okay which one we, we we learn by trial and error but in order for you so since i know it's by trial and error i'll let you know don't do what i do please don't do what i do now this is coming to a ball. This is coming to a ball. Now, so y'all, these are the scallops. I love scallops. I love scallops. So I'm gonna add all the scallops, y'all. This does not take long at all, so I'm gonna put them in here. And I'm literally gonna get a container ready to put them in. I'm gonna use this container over here that I have over here and they'll fit right in because it's not a lot of them but these cook like shrimp shrimp takes anywhere between now these big shrimp will take like uh like the small shrimp take about four minutes the bigger shrimp takes like three minutes each side like six minutes like three minutes on one side well, I kid you not three minutes on one side three minutes on the other side it does not take long at all at all And it doesn't take long for your, uh, for this is either. So, cook in the scallops first, y'all. Cook in the scallops first. Y'all see it. And like I said, if you want more seasoning, more flavor, and you guys, some people, some people like their flavor. And I am like that, y'all. I'm the type of girl, I love flavorful food. But not salty food, just a food with flavor. And what I do is, y'all notice that sometimes I take my seasoning with me when I'm going to restaurants because sometimes the food be too bland. It's not that I need salt. Salt and pepper ain't going to do it for me. I need another taste. You know what I'm saying? I need that garlic powder, onion powder, Cajun seasoning, something like that. That you know what I'm saying? It's just that it just is what it is. Some people don't like all that seasoning, which I understand. I get it. So when I'm doing any cooking thing that I'm doing with you guys, believe me, trust and believe, it is all about about what you like and what you don't like. It's all about trial and error. If you don't like something, don't add it. It's not a because it's not. Trust me, I am not the Bible for cooking i am not i usually just put things together and basically it's what i have a taste for i know how i like my food to taste if you're a person that likes a lot of taste and flavor in your food then i suggest that you probably would try to follow as close as possible or what i do because i like my food to be enhanced with the quality of taste you know what i'm saying and some people say that salt and pepper is enough taste for them which is fine and i don't knock them for saying that because everybody's taste buds are different please believe everyone's taste bud is different they can taste they more some people taste is more enhanced but they can really taste the sweetness the sugar the 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 uh, the sugar the the uh salt they can taste if it's uh, uh, garlic in it. Well, how much garlic? It's crazy. Some people's palates are superb. Other, my palates may be fried, y'all. I don't know. Somewhat fried. <laughs> y'all, this is almost done. That quick. When I kid you not, they are almost done. And just remember, y'all, when you're cooking your seafood, your seafood is still cooking itself when you take it out of the butter. I kid you not, or the boiling hot water. It is still sizzling and cooking itself. So what I'm going to do is, because I like my scallops. Scallops, you can't, you know what I'm saying, the scallops. This is, I'm going to keep them in for like a couple more minutes. Couple of more minutes, y'all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have this, this video come out tonight. I'm going to 
don't try to, I didn't do Vlogmas. Now, I said I was going to do Vlogmas. Y'all, Vlogmas, I don't know. I don't know if I ever do the Vlogmas. I see these people with these pretty old, the intros are beautiful. Maybe I'll do it next year because right now, I really honestly don't have the time to, I don't know. They be signed. I probably could make time, but right now, y'all, my time has been crazy, y'all. Crazy. The days go by so fast. If you're a person that does everyday videos, you know what I'm talking about. It does go by really, really fast. Especially when you have other things to do and keep up with. Man, I'm telling y'all, it is not easy. So, we got this. I think this is almost done, y'all. Because they looking. Okay, this is done. So, y'all. Y'all see that? And I did it on camera with y'all. This is done. You don't want it to be bad. You want it to be still tender. I know a lot of people haven't tasted scallops. A lot of people don't like scallops, which is surprising. I love scallops. I love me some scallops, y'all. So I'm putting these scallops in this container. No worries, y'all. This container was not dirty. It had butter in it, okay? It had butter in it. And so what I'm gonna do is put the top on it. And trust and believe when the top is off, it's still kind of cooking because it's hot. Some people like their scallops like a little bit real, very, very, uh, like, I ain't gonna say slightly soft. Because to me, scallops are already tender. So, I put them in here. So they're gonna sit and marinate. Now we're gonna do the big boys. The big boys. I only got six of these, y'all. And we go, that, that shell, the shell of the shrimp is a very good indicator that your stuff is done, okay? Trying to check my seafood board. We about done, y'all, because after this, I am going to drop these, uh, the, uh, lobster tails in here for at least, uh, eight to ten minutes, and we're going to be done. We are going to be done. I'm not, of course, I'm not going to show y'all all that. But I am gonna give y'all a close up of these shit, these uh, these uh, shrimp, because so many people can you can get shrimp wrong too. Now, however, some people like their shrimp tender, and some people like their shrimp not tender, and like it really like you know on the rougher side. My mama likes hers firm. And I think that uh, Kathy said she likes hers more firmer on the farmer side as well, if I'm not mistaken. But I like more, mine's more, not so firm, but kind of tender. You know what I'm saying? I like it in between. I like it in between. I'm in between that thing. Now, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, if y'all got a top to put cover over, I would suggest you use a top. A nice top. Now, if you don't have a top, you know you can do what it do. Use whatever you got. I'm telling y'all, we, we women... We can think of some things to use to uh, to replace the real stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like foil. You put some foil over. Uh, uh, that's what I used to do because you don't have. Like this one didn't come with a top. So what I do is if I want to cover this and get that, you know, that steam as well. You know, steam because I don't have a cover. I just use foil. Of course, y'all know that. You just use what you got. Use what you got. And sometimes you ain't gonna have all the tools and utensils that you need. And it's okay. You gotta improvise. You gotta improvise. You know what I'm saying? I don't be, I, I hope this is, is enough light, y'all. And then by this, my light back there being, um, y'all see my umbrella light. We're gonna have to do something about that, too. I'm not professional, y'all. Let me see. Let me show y'all. Okay. I'm gonna show y'all this shrimp. These shrimps be, I'm telling y'all, when I say these shrimps get ready fast, I'm not playing. Y'all see that? They getting ready fast, y'all. Look at that. You see that? Good indication that that stuff is getting done. You want that to turn pink. You want that to turn pink, the shells. That pretty light pink. Most definitely. And you want to kind of move them around because you know how it is with the stove. You got the stove iron right here. I mean, the, the uh, eye is right here. And you know, it's not getting, you want that even. 
even heat to go on these bad boys. On these bad boys now. I don't want no rubbery shrimp. I just don't. Who wants that rubbery? Not I. So, y'all. My battery is running low. So what I'm doing is change my battery. And then I'm going to put this back right back on this um, shrimp. Because they're going to be done in a second. And then we're going to work on this. That's the test. And then we'll be done. See you soon. Now y'all see this? This is absolutely totally done. Now this is still going to be tender. And you see how that looks? Y'all, it don't take long at all to cook these. Okay, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. So, y'all, I took the lot, the, uh, the crab legs out of the boiling water. And I left them in there for like 12 to 15 minutes. Uh, so this is how they come out. So, ooh, y'all can see that. So these are the crab legs, y'all. I didn't took them out with the corn and everything. Uh, now I am finna to add the lobster tails to this. So what I'm gonna do, they was in this cold water, but I'm gonna put some more ice in that. So I'm gonna drop one. And look at y'all time when y'all do this. Two. Three. So I dropped them all in there. And then we're going to let them bad boys boil for like 8 to 10 minutes. And we are going to take them out and put them and bathe them. Let them soak in some cold water so we can stop the cooking. And then I'm going to show y'all the final results. See ya. Okay, y'all. Now I'm going to take these waffle tails out. And y'all going to see me put it in this water right here y'all this right here there ice water see how they some of my floating to the top so that's your lobster tail i want to stop that cooking look i'm going to immerse that into that oh sorry y'all right there see how they, all that goodness is right here i'm going to add that to my bowl my um sauce some of that lemon some of them onions that stuff is not gonna go to waste. And it's flavorful. It's good. You guys don't have to worry about all of that. It's good, y'all. It will be good in your sauce, too. If you're a type of person that like all that, you know. You can cut up some more onions. This is not all the onions that you need to put in there. But it's a lot of onions in there. So I just added it to my boil. That's basically all you need to do, y'all. So what I'm going to do... Let that sit for a little bit, and I'll show y'all the, the uh, finished results. Bye. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I am pooped and beat and beat and pooped. Anyways, I got done with the boil, so I'm going to show y'all the finished product. This is how your boil is going to look. Oh, my leg keep falling off of my thing, my tripod. Anyways, this is how it's going to look with all of the stuff around it. And there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, the seafood boil, and this is my sauce over here. Still, um, on, isn't it on? Yeah, it's on low. So what I'm gonna do is have these onions simmer. It's gonna simmer to a little of nothing. I added one more onion to the boil, and I added lemon juice. So I added some lemon juice and some onion to that. Um, boil i mean that boil that sauce i'm sorry y'all i'm tired i'm so tired anyways i'm tired and i'm hungry so i'm going to mukbang me a seafood boil and we're gonna go from there and also too you guys if you want to add because you know the boil is just dry itself if you want to add sauce all over your seafood boil please do so you can do that. It is not a problem. I guess some people like it better that way. And it look more appealing that way as well. So, do what you want to do. But, y'all, that is my version of my seafood boil. And the meat is very, very flavorful. I promise you that. I usually... Now, I'm going to tell you this. I don't do this every day. Every time I do my boils, I don't do that. I usually put it in boiling in water and that's it. Or, you know, something like that. I'm going to just tell y'all the truth. Keep it real. My thing is I usually boil it in water and just do the temperature, uh, keep the temperature and the times as 
I said in this video um, because I know I'm going to use my sauce and the sauce has a lot of flavor in it. But if you want to be able to have gas and everything and you really like that taste through all throughout the crab meat, through, throughout the lobster and everything, you can do it this way. And I guarantee you, you would not be disappointed. You will have you an amazing ball. So you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone. Everyone let them know what your girl is doing this channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. Peace.